Yo, what's up, crew? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back. Welcome back. And on today's show, we're going to be talking about Lyra Galore and her basically coming out and confirming that she is indeed broken up with the biggest boss of them all, Rick Ross. Now, recently, she did a interview in Global Grind, and this was a pretty dope uh, interview. Actually, you guys got to go check it out. Go to the website. Check it out for yourself. It was a really good read. But in this uh, interview she basically covers a few things you know uh how she initially met rick ross what she's doing now some clothing that she's promoting and also why they broke up now one of the big things that she said is that initially she met rick ross at a little wayne video shoot but nothing didn't happen there because it was quote unquote business but shortly after that they hooked up at an all-star game they exchanged numbers and then everything took off from there now she says that you know initially this was her first relationship and she had no problem with putting it out there in social media but ironically she credits that as being one of the big factors in why they broke up now she says that you know people started digging up these old tweets and we all know about the tweets you know basically her saying that you know she wants to marry Wale you know the infamous photo with Meek Mill and she says why those things were nothing that was all that was out there and then one day she went to rick ross's instagram and she looked at his tag photos and it was nothing but the picture of her and meek and so she says at that time while it was nothing she felt like rick ross as a man couldn't handle it subsequently you know they broke up now they did get back together but she said you know they just decide to part ways and as she you know she's only 22 and as she put her love out there for the first time and sometimes everything doesn't go your way but like I say, man, you know, when you put stuff out there like that, you got to know that as a public figure, some past is going to come back up. Whatever you post on social media can come back to haunt you. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, Rick Ross probably played it off initially, you know, because he even said in interviews that he didn't care that he wants her, that that was really what mattered. But at the same time, when you constantly hear people sniggling and talking behind your back, you kind of wonder did my guy really hit it first so maybe this did contribute to her not hooking up or being with rick ross or not marrying rick ross because we all know they were supposed to quote unquote get married but you know i do think that he still has feelings for her and i know she still has feelings for him because she haven't took down any of his pictures and she did get emotional during this interview but I want to know what you guys think about this situation. So make sure you guys hit me down in the comment box. Make sure to share this story across your social networks. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more content like this. But that's it for this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. And, you know, Lira Galore, she basically said, you know, even though she's single, she's not back on the market anytime soon. I think she's kind of waiting around for Rick Ross to kind of come around to her way of thinking and maybe they'll hook back up. But that'll be cool. But the last time we checked, you know, Rick Ross was out there doing his things with uh, a few other women. All right. But that's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner, Just Mike. Stay up. Much love. And I am out of here. What are you talking about? I've never seen you before. Those are not mine. Hey, yo, check this out. I never seen those before. I never seen those. So before. where did they come from? I don't know. I never seen those. Okay, great.